a funny thing about this unfunny question is that depending on how you start, how you even start answering this question automatically puts you in a political category. Poland is now extremely polarized politically. Uh, the, the entire nation has become political after the past seven years of law and justice, the country's ruling party in power. So let's take a closer look what's behind this question. Is Poland a democracy still? There are a couple of possible answers to these questions and as I mentioned before, even the non-verbal expression when you ask someone this question, when they start answering your question, will tell you a lot about their politics. So the most common answers would probably be something like, what are you talking about? What are you even talking? What the hell are you talking about? Of course we are a democracy. You have never been more democratic than we are now. So that would be one group of people. Another one would be my favorite category. It depends depends on what you focus on, what you, what you talk about, what you mean specifically. Of course, some things could still be better, but we're doing so well on so many fronts. Let's take a look at the fundamentals. Public media in Poland, are they free and democratic? Are they mature as they should be? In short, the public media in Poland have never been more heavily, grotesquely politicized and right-wing than they are now. This is so aggressively the case that it almost feels surreal. Um, I was brought up in a country where I still have early memories of the late communism, late socialism public broadcast. I remember what it felt like, what it worked like. I remember my parents commenting the realities of the uh, late 80s and early 90s in Poland and to me it feels like nothing even close to what I'm watching now on television. Suffice it to say that if you study the news stickers in the main news program of the Polish television you could easily write a super interesting PhD dissertation on the subject of exerting influence through news stickers. I mean news stickers of Wiadomości, the most popular news program of the Polish national broadcaster, those news stickers have become so laughable and so dangerous at the same time that it's kind of difficult to relate to that. Many people on the right side of things would argue that of course we need some balance, therefore the public broadcaster is more in line with what the government is thinking and planning and doing uh, because the private media in Poland are so left-leaning, so to say. Now, even if we agree on uh, a presumption that the private media, all of them, like two major television channels in Poland, Polsat and TVN, now, even if you agree that uh, the other two major players on the media market in Poland are left-leaning, that doesn't change the fact that you cannot compare apples to oranges here because one is a private company, or actually two of them are private companies, Polsat and TVN, are private entities, which means that they have basically freedom to do whatever they please. They have a freedom to represent the line of thinking that they choose. Uh, the United States of America are perhaps not the best example, but look at what's happening there and how fragmented the media market in, in America is in that respect. Now, if I were to relate what Polish television is doing compared to, say, Fox News in America. There are a lot of parallels and similarities and you could even easily bet on the assumption that much learning has taken place from Fox. There are no more debates between key political leaders in Poland because the number one personality on the right side, the guy who literally runs the country, Jarosław Kaczyński, funnily enough started his career uh, as a young kid in a black and white film for children entitled about the two who stole the moon and there is a scene in the film where two kids twins literally steal the moon what an apt metaphor if you told me only 10 years ago that this country would go in the direction it has gone I would never have believed you I would have trusted that Poles are a lot wiser than that by now, that a country 
that remembers communism, that remembers the painful lessons of socialism, would know early on, would read the warning signs of a party moving in the populist direction, to say the least. When a single party tries to dominate the media narrative and use the power of huge public media infrastructure. Now, for you to understand the context, as I mentioned earlier, there are two private televisions and one public broadcaster. The public broadcaster is by far the biggest and has the largest broadcasting infrastructure around the country, plus regional centers which operate at province level. And their coverage is the most easily accessible coverage you can think of in Poland. You don't need any extra devices to basically pick up the signal and watch their 24-hour news program, which is called TVP Info. If you had told me 10 years ago that this is where we would end up in, in 2023, I would have found it very difficult to believe. I would have trusted that we, the Poles, have learned our lessons, the painful lessons of the past. But we haven't, apparently. So if I were to list one thing that is both good and terrible about the current reality in Poland, it would probably have to be the fact that ignorance was bliss, in a way. I would never have imagined that there are so many incredibly foolish, ignorant, irresponsible Poles living in the country I love. One of the most thought-provoking aspects of the current hybrid of uh, a democracy and an authoritarian regime, which is what this country is heading for, clearly, is that when I was a kid, at the time when there were serious limitations to what you could watch on television because there was very little available at the time, so every kid would wait till 7 p.m. in the evening and watch the cartoons. Some of them imports like Gummy Bears or Smurfs, very sentimental stories around those cartoons and animations. And right after that, that would be the main news program that every poll uh, would watch, more or less, if they wanted to feel they are knowledgeable or they had an opinion on any particular social or political matter. That's what they would go for. Uh, Viadomości, the 7.30 news program. And so, especially in the countryside, this would have become a very strong, deeply ingrained social habit that come 7.30 in the evening and families would sit down and people would watch the 7.30 news program. And now, watching this news program is simply unearthly. It feels so difficult to believe that something like this is even possible in a semi-mature democracy that you can spit out news stickers like that spewing hatred, xenophobia, uh, very specific views on surrounding countries, especially Germany and everything to do with our common heritage, so to say, and the difficult past between Poland and Germany. So what is happening now is that watching this news program every now and then. I don't do it to myself to watch it regularly. I, I wouldn't be able to stand it even as, uh, as research material because the main reason why I sometimes watch Viadomości, the main public broadcaster news program, is for research reasons, to understand the means and techniques and ways of um, brainwashing their viewership. And those techniques are quite fascinating because they come in two categories. One category is crude, simple, coarse propaganda. The other category is a lot more sophisticated, subliminal, subtle, using contrasts and colors and mood shifts, all sorts of techniques, a great variety of techniques, in fact, impact the opinion of their target audience. And I can't think of a single instance, of a single example, where the news anchor of this program would ever criticize the country's ruling party or let alone the country's ruling party leader, Jarosław Kaczyński. I've never heard them come even close to what could be construed as a criticism. So, ironically enough, this is where we are. And those news stickers, oh my god, you could probably easily have enough material for a 
PhD in sociology or psychology focusing exclusively on the last eight years of news stickers in the single news program, the main news program of the public broadcaster called Viadomosti at 7.30 p.m. So if you were to ask me, are we a democracy still? My simple answer would be, sadly, no, we're definitely not. We maintain appearances of a democracy, but the key pillars of a mature democracy are no longer there. So the Israelis are absolutely right when they relate to the situation in Poland and Hungary during the current protests.